So uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about the HANA Cockpit 2.0. HANA Cockpit 2.0, SAP HANA. So Cockpit 2.0. So why? Because in the 1.0, why separately we have to discuss about the HANA Cockpit. So in starting with the HANA 2.0 onwards, HANA Cockpit, HANA Cockpit is separated. They have separated. Previously, it's embedded with the HANA Studio. But now they have separated the cockpit is the 2.0 separated. And some of the accessory related functionalities they have included in the HANA Cockpit 2.0. So that is the reason we have to separately perform the this installation. So why we have why we need this tool actually? So we have already HANA Studio is available to monitor, to perform the administration related activities. Even though why we need HANA Cockpit 2.0. HANA, HANA Cockpit 2.0 is the one of the native web-based centralized tool. It's kind of web-based tool where you can monitor multiple HANA databases in single shot. In a single screen, all the HANA databases, you can add it, you can monitor it here. Multiple HANA databases, monitor administration level activities, and also all kind of functionalities. Whatever we are doing in the HANA studio, same kind of functionalities we can perform in the HANA Cockpit 2.0. It's a web-based URL. So HANA Cockpit 2.0 was introduced in the HANA. So when it was introduced, when HANA 2.0 SPS 0 was, when the SPS 00 was introduced, that time, so they have introduced the HANA Cockpit 2.0. Right? So there was a inbuilt with, when you install the HANA Cockpit 2.0, it's a inbuilt with the XSA functionalities are included additionally. So that if you want to create any mobile applications or anything, you can use the XSA UFI applications to perform this one. Right, XSA. So two ways we can deploy the HANA cockpit. Two ways we can install the HANA cockpit. One is like, so separate HANA database, we can install it. Separate system, separate system. So we can uh, install it, HANA, HANA database. So HANA cockpit is the database. So one of the HANA cockpit, we can install it. Otherwise, we can include, we can integrate, we can embedded, maybe we can say like embedded with, embedded with existing HANA database. If you have any existing HANA database, you can embed it with the existing HANA database. Okay, so these two ways either either so you can separately install or in the same. So you don't require much hardware for this one. Either a small kind of like 16 GB RAM is enough for this one. 16 GB of RAM and uh, 300, 400 GB space is required minimum. Space GB space free space is required storage. So that's it. Why? Because this is the cockpit database. So it does not require much memory and much space. So either we can install or the dedicated server, dedicated hardware, we can install it, or we can also shared hardware, already database are there. So there in the one of the non-production environment also, we can install it here. 16 GB, minimum 16 GB RAM is required here, right? And also while doing this installation, there are the one user will be created. That is called the cockpit underscore admin. Cockpit underscore admin user will be created. We have to do the all the admin level activities using the this user here, right? So this is the requirement from the requirement for installation of the HANA Cockpit 2.0 here. Okay, so let's go to the system here. In the system, you see here SAP. So we have HANA Cockpit file we downloaded. Normally, how we downloaded the files in the service marketplace, same way, we have to download the HANA cockpit file, we have to download it. Then SAR file, we have to download it. 
then we need to uncare it first of all this one so everything we have to do it with the root user only and our installation cockpit installation so we have to do it with the root user right so just i'm just extracting the software But installation may take longer time here. It's not very simple like other systems. The ANA cockpit installation may take very longer time. So let's see. so whatever the functionalities we have in the ana studio same kind of functionalities it is it is having so we uh, same kind of functionalities we can perform using the ana cockpit 2.0 okay so see here it is extracted the files got extracted here so then what we have to do we need to use the hdb lcm tools for installations we have to use the hdb lcm tools for the installation of the software here right so just execute in the dot slash hdb lcm tools here hdb lcm tool here Actually, come on, list of components. Not here in the HDB LCM. We have to go to the yes. Yeah. Dot slash HDB LCM. HANA cockpit. So you are going to install the HANA cockpit 2.0. So you are going to install the new cockpit system. Yes. So all you want to install the so embed with the this one BGP HDB. We have already systems are there. You want to embed with the already these systems. So how you want to go here? So I want to install with the new system. Then just you can use the fourth. Right. So you want to install the all the components. Yes. So I want to install the all the components. Yes. Right. One. So then. Enter commerce updated by the options one. Yeah, otherwise just a file cockpit. Just a cockpit. Anak requests the excessive version of the but lower than 2.0. So AFL is not compatible with the version. So just one minute. Why we have AFL here? AFL is not required for us here. Yeah, I removed this one.
install the cockpit system. All the components. Okay. Got it. Signature file. So iPhone, iPhone, ignore the signature file got missed. So that's why so we need to, I'm bypassing the argument here. So ignore the signature file here. So this is the optional ignoring the signature file. So that's why I just passed the argument here to ignore the command. So then Yeah, so it is asking the installation path, host name, SID, H4C. So by default, when you are installing the HANA cockpit 2.0, the default SID is the H4C, HANA for cockpit. So same, the instance number also 96 here. So same, so here, uh, yes password master password so just i'm giving the the password just giving the password here yes do you want to continue yes so now see here ana ana database uh, including we have cockpit access a all these functionalities will be installed now all the functionalities will be installed now so here, uh, this is the way we have to install it. Same as like how we have done the HANA installation. Same way cockpit also, it kind of one of the database will be created. That is called the cockpit database will be created. So uh, once it is installed, so we can, it will, it will generate the, so two URLs. One is the cockpit manager. One is the second one is the cockpit. Two URLs, it will be generated. So this user will be created. So installation, we have to use the tool like HDB LCM tool. We have to use it. HDB LCM tool. We have to use it here. HDB LCM tool. Then installation starts with start with the root user. With the root user, we need to start the installation. These are the things you should remember. So HANA cockpit is the one of the web-based centralized tool to monitor the bulk single or bulk HANA databases in, in one single uh, web-based screen, in a browser screen, we can monitor it. So here in the HANA studio, we have to install on the individual your desktops. You have to install it. You Everyone has to add it. We have to monitor. That is the Eclipse-based tool. But HANA cockpit is the web based tool just you can install on the centralized one centralized hardware just open the url just open the url url anyone can open right just share the url with the, your colleagues so that everyone can open the hana cockpit and they can monitor the hana databases you no need to everyone no need to separately install the hana hana cockpit so it's separate urls nothing is required like same as like studio so it's like centralized you are using. So this is the replacement of the HANA studio. Replacement of the HANA studio, this cockpit. So it's the latest version of the cockpit here. So just a browser URL, just open the URL in the browser. All your HANA systems will be displayed as a tiles so that you can monitor your HANA systems. You can perform the administration tasks, all kind of work we can perform using the HANA cockpit 2.0 web-based URLs. Yeah, so it may take uh, much time to perform the installation. So we have to wait till then. Yeah, once it is installed, it will end up the session 
it will generate the two URLs, web-based URLs. So those URLs are very important. So using those things, we have to add our Avana systems and we can monitor it here. Those are the things. Right? So those are the things here. So you need to wait half an hour. Definitely. I will pass the recording till then.